I am currently carrying out a project that focuses on modifying energy ratio in broiler feeds to cut the cost of production by reducing the cost of feeds. Suddenly, I had to restart this project because I lost about 70% of my birds in about one and a half weeks to a disease called colibacillosis. After this loss, I went deep into research to try and find out an organic treat that farmers can use to eradicate this disease in their farm. And I've decided to share with you some of the information on how to prevent and uh, to treat this disease organically using natural treatments. In this video, I will tell you what causes this disease, how to identify it in your chickens, and how to treat it naturally and eliminate it completely from your farm. I will greatly appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so that you will be notified every time that we post a video. Also, make sure that you hit that like button if you find our videos educative or if you enjoy watching our videos. Colibacillosis is a disease you may have not heard of, but Trust me, it is so common. The reason as to why you may not have heard of this infection is because it strikes as a secondary infection. That is, it only shows up in the shadows of another major infection or a condition that is stressing the birds. For example, in my case, this disease affected my broilers because there was some heat stress conditions that I was dealing with. And also, I highly suspected that this infection could have originated from the hatchery. Bacteria responsible for this chick killer disease is the Escherichia coli, commonly known as E. coli. E. coli is the major player or the major cause of this disease, but there are also other various bacteria that can be associated with this infection. The source of this infection uh, can be one from the hatchery, number two, it can be from the previous flock, and this occurs when you don't disinfect the chicken coop properly before bringing in this new batch of chicks or the new flock. The other thing is the stress. If there is any kind of stress that is affecting the chicks, you may find this secondary infection, that is the colibacillosis, affecting your buds. Some of the symptoms of this uh, disease include number one, ascites. The ascites is the accumulation of fluid in the ab abdomen of the chicks. Number two is the dyspnea, that is the, the difficulties in breathing. Uh, you will hear the birds chirping. Also, the birds will refuse to drink the, the water and also eat the feeds as required. And also, you will observe general body weakness of the broilers. You will uh, also see the wetting of the vent area and also you will see gapping. After suffering these losses, here is what I learned that helped me raise 100% of my chicks in the next flock free from this devastating infection. And number one is to eliminate any kind of stress that can affect your chicks. For example, I told you that I was uh, facing some heat stress. Also, some of my chicks had been uh, killed by the mongoose. And these kind of stresses uh, that may affect the chicks uh, create or compromise to the immune system of the chicks which brings about the emergence of colibacillosis. Number two is about the hatchery. You must make sure that you order your chicks from a reputable hatchery because if you order your chicks from a hatchery that do not observe the biosafety measures, you may find that uh, your chicks then can get infection during uh, the hatching process. The third thing that I realized is that you must keep changing your litter. Make sure that you change the litter because E. coli is transmitted through the fecal material or the poop of the chicks. Therefore, if you do not change uh, this contaminated litter uh, more regularly, you may find that it may become a breeding site for this bacteria that causes colibacillosis. The other thing I noted is that you should ensure no contact between the chicks that ha have arrived or the new flock and the other chicks that could be bigger that may be in the farm because this colibacillosis can be a carrier disease in bigger or older chickens. This means that you, these bigger birds may have this bacteria but they are not affected by it because their immunity have been able to suppress the infection but it can be passed over to these 
younger chicks which can lead to death. Now, welcome into the world of organic treatments. And the first organic treat that is capable of eliminating this infection is the uh, dime extract. The dime extract or the dime contains a compound that is called dime oil. Dime oil has been found to be a good antimicrobial that eliminates and kills the E. coli parasites. Experiment has been done to try and find out the ability of the dime extract to eliminate the E. coli bacteria and the results have been that uh, this extract at the right concentration it is capable of eliminating up to 90% of the Escherichia coli bacteria. The other thing is uh, the turmeric extract. The turmeric extract uh, contains a compound called curcumin, and this curcumin is a lethal antimicrobial to the Escherichia coli and has also been found to kill and eliminate this infection. Another treat is the garlic extract. As we all know uh, from the videos uh, that I have been making about garlic, it is more evident that garlic extract is very effective against bacterial diseases. And this coli bacillosis in, is no exception because this garlic extract contains antimicrobial compounds that are able to eliminate this infection. The other important treat is the clove essential oil. The clove essential oil contains another antimicrobial that is effective against E. coli bacteria that cause coli bacillosis. This compound is called eugenol and eugenol has been found over and over again and tested and verified to be able to kill E. coli bacteria. Except from the clove essential oil which you can buy as um, a finished product, uh, the other three that is the thyme, the turmeric and the garlic extracts uh, can be prepared at the farm. Uh, to prepare these extracts, Number one, you're going to find the treat of your choice from the ones that I have stated. Then you're going to wash wash it properly before crushing it. I recommend you use mortar and pestle or any other kind of tool or way that you can be able to crush this garlic or the turmeric or the thyme. Then you're going to use a sieve uh, to press and get this extract. Now it is in this extract that you're going to use to add into the chicken's drinking water. The amount of this extract that you're going to add into the chicken's drinking water is one teaspoonful per liter of water. As you prepare this extract so that you can be able to eliminate this coli bacillosis before it brings about devastating effects on your farm like it did to me, Make sure that you hit the video on your right so that you can be able to know the natural remedy for broiler paralysis. And also, I recommend that you watch that video on your left so that you can be able to know how to attain 100% cheek survivability throughout the blooding stage.